In this video, we'll try to understand how to find out the natural frequency of oscillation of a simple pendulum as shown over here. So let us draw the free body diagram for this particular arrangement. So as you can see over here, we have displaced the mass in this particular direction. So the mass is displaced from its mean equilibrium position up to this particular part. So W is equal to mg which will act vertically in the downward direction and it will have two component mg cos theta and mg sin theta. So if the angle made by the simple pendulum, a small angle made by the simple pendulum with the vertical is theta, this distance is x, horizontal distance is x, L is the length of the pendulum and m is the mass, then because of this particular displacement of the mass, the elongation of the string will take place and this w is equal to mg that is the weight which will be acting vertically in the downward direction will have two component one is adjacent component that is cos component another one is opposite component that is sine component so it is mg cos theta and mg sine theta out of these two components this mg sine theta will be the restoring component correct so mg sine theta multiplied by the perpendicular distance l that is this particular l will be the restoring torque that will be causing the bob or mass to come back to its equilibrium position. Apart from this, there will be a spring force also, which will be causing the restoration torque. So we can say that stiffness of the spring is given by force required to produce unit deflection. So it is spring force divided by deflection. So as we have already seen that the deflection of the spring is x. So k is equal to f upon x. So therefore, f will be equal to k into x. So spring force is kx which will be elongated and it will try to bring this bob again back to the original position. Then as we have already seen another restoring torque is provided by mg sin theta and perpendicular distance is L, that is mg sin theta into L. So if this is the direction of motion inertia torque will act opposite to the direction of motion that is i alpha or i theta double dot. Restoring torque one of the restoring torque provided by this mass is mg sin theta into L and another restoring torque will be provided by the spring. So spring force is kx and perpendicular distance is A. So it will be kx into A. So these are the various values of restoring torque that is mg sin theta into L and kx into L and inertia torque which is opposite to the direction of motion or displaced direction is i alpha or i theta double dot where theta double dot is the angular acceleration in radian per second square. So we can say that this x is nothing but approximately equal to a into theta. So x dot will be a into theta dot and x double dot will be a theta double dot. So x is the linear displacement. This is linear velocity. This is linear acceleration in meter per second square. Theta is the angular displacement theta dot is omega or angular velocity in radian per second and theta double dot is angular acceleration in radian per second square. Now we'll start with our derivation part for this. So the torque summation of torque is equal to zero as per the d Lambert principle and the torques which are in the direction of the inertia torque they are taken as positive. So restoring torque and the inertia torque, they are in the same direction in this particular case. So I theta double dot is our inertia torque. Kx into A is the torque produced by the restoring torque produced by the spring. And mg sin theta L is the component of the mass which is producing the restoring mm -hmm. torque. In place of x, we have substituted A theta. In place of sin theta, when theta is very small, we are substituting theta as we have already seen. So ultimately, we'll have the expression over here as i theta double dot the first term as it is plus k a square theta a into a that will become a square so this a multiplied by a that is a square so this k a square theta plus mgl theta mgl theta is equal to zero now from the two terms correct you can take theta common over here so it is i theta double dot plus k a square plus mgl bracket complete so we'll write down this term in bracket into theta is equal to zero now we can substitute the value of mass moment of inertia also 
So first we'll divide throughout by i. So it will be k square plus mgl by i into theta is equal to zero. And we know that the mass moment of inertia for simple pendulum, as we have seen in our previous video, correct? It is given by ml square. So it is nothing but theta double dot plus k square plus mgl i into theta. So here it should be theta is equal to zero. So this is our equation of motion in this particular case. And now we have to find out what will be the natural frequency of vibration of this system. So if you compare this equation with the equation of simple harmonic motion, that is the motion which is repeated after a regular interval of time, then we can say that the equation of SHM in case of angular motion is given by theta double dot plus omega square theta is equal to zero. So the value of omega square will be nothing but in this case is Ka square plus MGL by ML square. So we can write down for the omega square the given value. So it is Ka square plus MGL divided by ML square. Or we can say that omega that is the natural frequency or other circular frequency is given by square root of Ka square plus MGL divided by ML square. If you want, you can modify this particular equation also. So first we'll write down the basic part of this. So K square plus MGL divided by ML square. So this is the value of angular velocity in radian per second. So omega is given by 2 pi f, where f is the frequency, natural frequency of vibration or oscillation of the given particular system. So it is K square plus MGL divided by ML square. Or we can say that f will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi and the given value which is there in the square root. So it is ka square plus mgl upon ml square and that value will be nothing but expressed in terms of hertz or cycles per second or oscillations per second or vibrations per second. So in this way we can derive the expression of natural frequency in case of the simple pendulum and having the spring attached to it so that the restoring torque will be produced by the uh, component of the mass that is mg sin theta or component of the weight mg sin theta and the uh, spring force thank you very much for watching